Hey there, everyone, the South Cow and Sonic Heroes, and today we're gonna beat the game! Um, so... Last time, against Egg Emperor, I struggled a lot. But then I learned that all you really need to do is spam Bunny. So, today we're gonna spam Fox, and if it works out in the future, I think I'll just include Egg Emperor. <laughs> with final, final fortress, but like, I just don't know if that was just like an Amy-sized fluke or what, so let's find out. Although I will need to like power up, like level up the fox a little bit. Then you won't get away. Yeah. This looks like doctor. Where everyone's just taking time of just sitting there, like I think that's so weird. Like if you have time to talk, like you have time to fight. <laughs> Is it gonna show us what real evil is? It's knocking you down ledges when you can't do much about it. Alright. Yeah, that's what I want. I want at least level one. Yeah, missiles for you. Yes, maybe it wants you to fly in here so you can do that. Alright, level two fox. That's exciting. Well, okay, I was far enough that he felt that was worth the charge. Yeah, so I can just go underneath. Oh boy, alright. You know what? It's all good. Then we're gonna knuckle buckle here. Oh, he summons guys. Well, that's different. Alright, so the theory is that you can just do that all day long. And you're gonna be pretty okay. Oh, he has like hundreds of health. You know, that's... We're the star of this party, by the way. Just, okay, yeah, let's see what you got. Uh-huh, lots of us. So, you know, his friends all over the place do make this a little bit more... You know what, maybe I should change to dying. I shouldn't change to dying. Uh, here, so, like, I probably want to destroy his robot friends as we do that first. So, sure. Let's take that into consideration. There we go. Robot friends destroyed. So now I can, in theory, just sit here and dance. Or at the very least, throw my woodland friends around. Well, get bopped a little bit. That's fine. Yeah, we can now just go ahead and do the old purple shuffle twister. We got to see the underside of the robotic mind there for a hot second. Everything is purple. So it's down to 79 health. It, my attacks are down to doing whatever they want. And I'm down to dying even though I had five rings in my collection. Yeah, bullet mysteriously goes somewhere. It's not... It, where are you throwing? Like, why are you chucking way up there? What are you doing? Idiot box. Alright, well, this is happening now. Alright, take this, take this, take this. Yeah, I, I will dare you to take this either, and that's pretty fun how you just hit me while I'm in a canned animation. You no, know, this looks an awful lot like the hammer robots when you really think about it. Like, do I want to take the chance of. What happened? I did a tornado, he said blast away, then he jumped and the camera broke. I have a camera that works, please. Alright, so let's not use the pull, because that has a history of just outright killing me now. Nothing matters. Like, what? Like, what is this? There we go, yeah, let's do some damage, do some damage, let's try not to explode. It's a big ask, I'm aware. Smell you later! And... Ugh. Okay, I see when he was crying, I thought I was dead because he sounded super sad. Why would you say those words while sounding on the verge of tears, Eggman? Yeah, and now... Now, because we're in a post-revolution world, you just chuck your... And I couldn't touch any rings. A lot of fun has been had here. A lot of fun. Level up! Hey, 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 
Wake up, guys! Jesus Christ! gimmick to use because you're afraid things are just gonna break. Alright, should be fine. You're like way like a dude, okay? We made it somehow. Got it. Like I'm just afraid that he's gonna decide it's charge time, but luckily that didn't happen. Yeah, you need to wait for him to be done. Just will smash into him. Dude, just please get a ring somewhere. Whatever. Dude, stop it. Yeah! Like, you do a lot of damage now for hit. It's kind of ridiculous. Alright, so I got one ring in reserve. I'm gonna win, like, around now? Yeah, okay. Yeah, so just like the the key to victory is figuring out how to manage those moments oh, right. where the game plays on its own. It's such a weird thing. Uh, it's not. It wasn't as bad as when I fought with Amy, but finished, like it wasn't really fun. And Tails get to get the winning blow. Like, what kind of universe is this? I did it! I beat the game! Sonic, look at that, and by defeating uh, Hedgehog Man, the ships are blowing up all over the place. We don't know why. We're just standing there. Come on, tell me you weren't scared. If it wasn't for us, you wouldn't have had a chance. I mean, sure, he wouldn't have had a chance without his buddies. He is shocked! Knuckles is just, what? What happened? Oh man, Amy is here! Later, well, there he goes. Sonic is slowly running away because deep down, maybe on some level he wants this to happen because he could be running four times that speed. He's choosing to run slow there. I think there's something going on. Maybe they're just, maybe it's just code and they're just looking for a bit of privacy. I don't know. I just think that that wasn't running at Sonic speed at all. Look at how quick his feet are moving there. And how quick the terrain moves around him. Including, like, you no know, cap keeping up with a plane. He was going, like, three times slower than that. He can do, like, this speed running backwards. Running is no effort for this hedgehog. I still think Sonic Heroes is pretty fun, honestly. Yeah, there are moments where things kind of break, but when things don't break, the game is genuinely pretty fun, I think. I know some people will not agree, but Knuckles' dreads are not affected by that plane's movement at all, while the tuft of hair on Tails' head didn't. And yeah, as people have pointed out, they're just abandoning the torpedo there to just fly. I mean, we don't know, maybe it has an autopilot and Tails set it to fly straight back to... Uh, whoa, weird little lag there. Maybe it's set to fly back directly to uh, home, Homestead in Sonic Adventure. So, they didn't witness Robotnik's corpse smelled into a puddle at the end, because that's what Amy saw. Uh, right, speaking of puddles, um, so it was suggested to me that I leave Chaotix for last because in terms of story, it's the one that follows through, like, the most, obviously, into the final story. 
But for gameplay purposes, I earnestly believe that I should be playing Chaotix next and then finish with Dark. The reason for that is that uh, Sonic and Dark's adventures are the most similar to one another. Like, they're the most similar gameplays. So I feel like breaking up with Chaotic is the best idea, and that's what I'm gonna do. It might not be optimal in terms of story, but there are games where I didn't even see all the endings and story points. Like, I'm more about the gameplay here, and I just feel like that will make for a better show. So that's what we're gonna be doing. And do you agree, Sean Dobbins? Look at that. Everything is blowing up here. It's just trillions and trillions of dollars in irreparable damage and like that's not even mentioning where all of these machines are gonna land like even assuming that we're over the ocean it doesn't crush into buildings the tidal waves objects of this size falling into the ocean will create will be maybe not as devastating but still pretty much up there oh man look at that emulation issue there's little lines underneath the text down there oh man i gotta report that but unless it's there in the original the blurring on these figures makes no sense it's like everyone's got like a vague speed hollow hello vague speed hello all around them. I did it! 100 Sonic! Only one will survive.